Welcome. In this section, we will explore the camera effect. Under effects, we have camera effects. If we select objects, we will see the effects in the under camera. Or if we select any object. So here we will have uh, very few things. We have colorized diffuse photos. So we are going to demonstrate all this now. So we have colorized. Colorized will reduce your color into only one color with mix of gray. So we'll get a picture to use. So we need properties to we can get that through objects easily in these property tools. I go through windows, look at some properties. Remember we can add the effects straight from here, but it's better to add it through the panel so that you can undo it gives you a lot of fle flexibilities so we come here and uh, we are interested in camera we use colorize this is the picture we have this is the color we are using so you choose your hue which is color here if the saturation is at 100 percent it gives you the pure color if you mix it with gray it gives you a tone so you use this to adjust then you come here to choose the color you want to so this acts like a filter see the difference between the images you can apply this to any object any image so that's uh, what we've achieved so we go to the next one next one is um, let's click here I want to emphasize that if you want your effects to affect only part of your image you can do that by using the lens so if we go to lens to use the lens get object for the lens this is the area we want the effects to affect this box let's color it so that we can see it so we want it to affect only the paint in this place so to activate the lens you go to lens under effects okay the lens is on so we switch it up so we can call it up so this is the lens so once you do that this has become the lens we'll click here click effects effect of the lens this is brightness but we're not interested in all this we'll discuss that later we're interested in using bitmap effects on this section so click on bitmap effects once you select it and you've notified it that is bitmap effects it will accept, accept bitmap so we'll now go to effects anything we're doing now will accept only that selected area so with this we go to diffuse diffuse has a subtle effects you've seen the original image this is the one we want to work on so we increase the level of diffuse you notice that this is not as sharp as this one now it's acted as if there is a distant light shining on it we'll use another image to demonstrate this we'll use this image we will go to diffuse again okay a soft so we may have to zoom in so i can see it very well so we zoom into this watch this picture how sharp it is so use this to mask scratches so you see how subtle this has become while well, this is very sharp look at the cloud very well so this is what we do with this use, use it to douse the sharpness of a, an image so we cancel now we go to the next tool let's see what the tool is so that we know the right objects to use to demonstrate it so the next is filter filter can work on any objects use this to add camera filter to your tool so um, this is still selected you see the effects on this 
so that's good so easy to demonstrate so just only the tray the things in the tray are affected so if you want to use the camera effect on it you can do that okay so we select another tool this is using the lens to concentrate it to only the object we choose so we cancel and we go to another image let's use this image so we go back to the camera effect we we'll go to filter i want to add filter to okay we selected this image it's still okay so this is the filter we've added to this image let's use color that okay so we go to let's compare the two this is what we gained we added filter here you can change the filter to any color and you can change the tone as long as you want this to be greener so you can change the this you see is density we are reducing the density of that color you can use this to get great effect on your pictures so we go to another tool you just select any tool, tool okay let's see what the other tool is so this is a uh, sepia sepia will give it uh, a look of a uh, older image so let's use this we go to effects we go to camera we click uh, sepia so we have the two in view this is the picture we have this is how we made it look older as this is the age you've seen it as we are increasing the age the picture looks much older so this how to have effects add effects of to your picture that it is looking old so maybe the picture of a child you change it it may look like uh, the child has lived uh, 70 90 years ago so that's what you achieve so we go to the next effects we'll use this building so the next camera effect here is uh, the time machine so time machine can give you the acts the what the pictures look like this will tell you the age that is 1855 1855 this is how pictures will look this will tell you to 1890 the age of this one is here 1873 to 1920 so if you look at this picture is the camera is too modern to the age of this so if we want to present it as if this picture was taken in those years so these are the options you have so um, you can increase the intensity you can decrease the intensity you have all these choices these uh, presets you don't have anything to add or remove you just select the age you want and the intensity you want so that's all about camera let's say for we'll still have some other two left okay that's all so see you in the next lecture hello join us in mastering coral draw graphic suits with our comprehensive course this lesson is just one of the 80 in-depth tutorials designed to equip you with all the skills you need whether you are a beginner or seeking to enhance your proficiency our course covers everything you need to know about coral draw and coral photo paints subscribe to our channel to unlock more insightful lessons like this one or take the next step 
by enrolling in the full course using the link below. Don't miss out on the opportunity to assess all 80 lessons and elevate your design expertise with Corel Draw Graphics Suits. See you in the class. My name is Ejofo Umano. I'm one of your instructors in this course.